I'm really excited to show you about a new feature we just launched for Bold Upsell, and that's upselling after checkout on Shopify checkout. So with Bold Upsell, you've always been able to do true upsells, where if I'm buying this one pound bag of coffee, I can upgrade to the two pound bag of coffee. Now, if I go and I look at my cart, I can see I have the two pound, it actually removes the one pound. And I've always been able to do cross sells where the offer adds to the cart. So if I wanna add this coffee syrup to the cart, now you'll see when I'm in the checkout, I have the coffee, I have the, I'm sorry, the coffee and the syrup. But now what's new is you have the ability to do cross sells after checkout. I'm gonna show you what that looks like right now. So this is our live demo store. If you go to the app store, Bold Up Sell, and you click on demo store, this is the store I'm on right now. Feel free to try it out. Uh, to, to test on any store, you can just enter one as the credit card number, expiration date has to be something in the future, security code 123, and let's go ahead and click pay, and you'll see what this actually looks like. So the order goes through just like normal, and it processes. If you do, if the customer does nothing, the order's done. But there's an offer here for a last second, one click, add to order. The customer doesn't have to do anything. They don't have to enter their shipping information, credit card details, nothing. So I've put a discount on this, uh, a $5 discount. The product is still $12.99 in the store, but only on this upsell after checkout page is the $5 discount on it. So if I go ahead and click add to order, this will add it to this order. The way it works is Shopify applies two charges on the card. So if you scroll down, you can see that there was actually two charges, but it combines everything on one order. So the my coffee, my syrup, and the coasters are all on one order, but two different orders. Uh, the customer will get a original order confirmation email and then a order updated email. So they'll, they'll actually get two emails, but showing that the original order was updated. Feel free to test it out on your store if you want, but that's, that's how it is. It's very intuitive uh, and it just works out of the box. You actually don't have to do anything to set it up. You can, of course, uh, modify those emails just like any other Shopify email, but it just works. You don't have to do anything there. Okay, here's how I set it up. I'm going to our store and now when you, let me just open up current offers here. So the offer that you just saw was this one called Coasters Post Purchase. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and actually gonna create create a new offer and walk, walk right through it. So when you click create offer now, an under trigger, let's just call this Coasters Post Purchase. And I'm gonna set a trigger. This is what's new right now. Uh, this wasn't here a week ago, so we, you can always trigger it on the add to cart button, which you saw with the upgrade to the two pound bag before the checkout, which you saw where I added syrup, or now post purchase. You'll notice when you click on post purchase, this little notification comes up. This is reminding you that you need to have bold checked to control the post purchase page. So in Shopify under settings, so if you go to your settings and then you go to checkout uh, and then scroll down near the bottom, you may not have noticed this, but there's a new section here called post purchase page. You just need to make sure to check bold upsell here so that um, product, sorry, product up so that it can, it can trigger um, offers on the thank you page. Other than that, that's all you have to do in Shopify to make it work. Uh, now in the app, I'm going to, so I selected post purchase. I want to trigger an upsell on specific products or I can trigger it on every product in the store. So this is just saying if I only want to show this if they buy certain things, I think generally you should show an, uh, an offer every single order. Uh, they convert extremely well. We're seeing some stores already over 30%. Uh, they're the highest converting offer of any offer because the customers already bought something, their credit cards are in, it's just one click. It doesn't get in the way of their purchase flow, so it's not popping up. Um, it's it's The customer's already committed to buying from you, so they're very likely to convert on an offer, especially if there's some type of an exclusive discount on it. So I recommend this, especially through the holidays. Um, I think every store should have a, a post-purchase offer on it. And then we just click, what, do, what products do we want to offer? So, I'm going to select those coasters. The only thing, so this, we just released this feature. Currently, you can only offer one product uh, in the uh, in the offer. We're adding the ability to add more soon. Let me just refresh this here. I'm not sure why that didn't pop up. Um, we'll, we'll have the offer, the ability to add more than one product so shortly, but for now, you can only offer one. So if you do select more products here, it will only show the first one. Um, 
but stay tuned more more features are coming out soon we rushed to get this out in time for cyber monday black friday and the holidays uh so i'm going to offer these coasters or even you know what let's actually do this one here so i'll i'll, I'll remove these coasters uh, my bold coffee topping so i'm going to continue with selected product and if i shopify restricts the what the call to action can be so you can't create your own but you can pick from what one of these um, so this is the title and then the kind of call to action under um, this is a crowd favorite we thought you might like it too and then if you want to offer a discount just turn this on and you can do a percentage or a dollar um, if i want to do let's do it two dollars off and if i want to enable this during a certain date range and uh, if i want it to not show if inventory if it's out of inventory just make sure this is on Otherwise, leave it off and it will show all the time. Uh, this doesn't change the price of the product in your store. The product will remain the, the full price on the front end. It will only discount it on the thank you page. So now let's go ahead and, and save this offer. Uh, once you've made sure you've updated settings, you can dismiss this. I've already done that, so I'm going to dismiss that. Now let's go to the front end of the store and shop. I'm going to buy this coffee maker, add to cart. I'm going to add the grinder, of course. Oh, and this is, you're seeing a funnel here. So this is a funnel where I add the grinder, uh, these co espresso coffee beans. If I say no thanks, it might say, okay, well, how about these coffee mugs? Sure, add those. I'm going to go to checkout. And uh, we have that cross sell on the checkout here. So sure, I'll add my syrup. Now I'm in the checkout. And let's place this order. And to place an order on the test site, just a reminder, credit card number one, any name, expiration date, anytime in the future, security code 123, and click pay now. And then we should get the offer that we just created. So you can literally have these offers up and running in about two minutes. Uh, these, this is the offer, and uh, you can see it was $5.99, uh, but I gave $2 off, so it's only $2.99. Click add to cart, and it's done. That's how easy it is. This is live right now in Bold Upsell. There's nothing you need to do to turn it on. If you have the app, it just works. There is no extra charge for it. It's live. But we do recommend through the holidays, because you're gonna be getting more traffic, uh, and and this will the way the pricing on the app works is it's priced based off of the number of views, so really how much you use it. I would recommend upgrading your views, especially just for the holiday season. Feel free to downgrade it again in January. But if right now you're on a thousand views a month upgrade it to 2000 or if you're on 200 upgrade it to 1000 feel free to downgrade it in the future but uh, you want to make sure that your offers are working all through the holidays and don't stop uh, they'll make you more they'll make you money uh, this is live if you have questions as well too there is a help article uh, that talks all about it and you can link directly to that help article from the create offer page there's uh that's it that's how easy it is to have these up and running on your store through the holidays i would recommend getting them set up today like i said they convert very well and there's no reason you shouldn't have a post-purchase offer on every single order that goes through your store this holiday season excited to help you all create some higher average order value enjoy if you have questions support at boldcommerce.com is the best place to reach out and this is live today